Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first ever YouTube video, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So this video is just going to be on my morning routine, hence why I like this. So first, I'm just going to start by washing my face and I'll tell you what products I use and where I get them from. First, I'm going to start by brushing my hair because it's very knotty. And then I'm going to put my hair back with these. I got these. You can get these from Primark. I got a pack of them, they're really good. And I'm gonna put the rest of my hair back with a bobble. My first part of my face routine is using this face wash. It's daily clean and clear, and I actually have a lot of these products. I actually have another face wash that's like a dark blue and a blackhead one. You can get an exfoliant one. This is just a cream wash and it's really good, so let's go. First, I've just wiped my face. Now, we're just gonna take a little portion and rub it on. It kind of feels like a marshmallow, actually. I definitely recommend this, it's very nice. Very smooth. Definitely the marshmallow texture. I'm actually going for breakfast today. I always go, to bake my day on a Saturday and a Wednesday before I dance. It's really good there, like really good. I love the cakes there, they're all homemade, so it's really good. Okay, so next, colour spell. I use this, it's not got any batteries in it just now, but we can just use it as a hand one. So it changes heads and I got this from Home and Bargain, Home and Bargain, it is only like two pounds. So if you want to go and get one, you should because it's really good. So I've wetted it. I'm just going to rub this in. It does make my face really red, I'll tell you that. This actually like makes my eyes water because it's got like a minty smell to it. So. Next, we're gonna wash this off and put the next head on. Okay, so the next one's this one, and it's like a, the balls like move, and it's like a massaging one. It's really nice. It's actually like a really nice massage for your face, especially this early in the morning. And the last one I use is this one. It kind of feels like, I don't know, like a nail film texture, but smoother. I don't know. It like, I don't really know what it does, but it feels really nice. I think it just makes your face feel really smooth once it's all washed off. Anyway, I definitely, de definitely, definitely recommend getting this. It's really good. Now that I've done that, I use this, which is from Home and Bargains also, and it also comes with a pink headband to keep your hair back. But I didn't want to use that, I wanted to use my clips. So I'm just gonna wipe my face with this. It's easier than just shoving face, I mean, shoving water in my face. If you can't tell by now, I'm dyslexic. Fun. So, now that's done, we're going to move on to cleansing. This is the, I don't know, really know how to say it, I think it's Cetaphil Oily Skin Cleanser. I don't really remember where I got this from, but... So we're just going to use a pump of this and rub it in in circle motions. The tan is... It's six minutes past eight and I struggled to get out of bed this morning because on weekends I like lying in 
actually on any day I like lining, lining, but I can't because I have school, which is sad. Because I like lining. <laughs> Comment down below which time do you get up and like what time you get out of bed and get ready and stuff. Because I should probably start getting up earlier. Okay, now that's done, we're just going to use the same tactic thing as this. So I'm just going to dry, I mean, dry my face, wet my face by wiping this off. Oh, my face feels refreshed already. Washing my face in the morning actually makes me more awake. I don't know why, but it just does. It just makes me feel more refreshed and ready for the day. Next thing I use is this daily deep cleansing sensitive lotion. It's celiac acid. And I've already used like two bottles of this. Uh, and I just got it from Sainsbury's. It's like three pounds. I got this from Sainsbury's too. And you can get different types of all the daily stuff, I think. I definitely recommend it and all you do to put it on is get a cotton bud I got these reusable ones from Home and Bargain and you get two of them and they're not they're not expensive so so we're just rubbing this around my face definitely makes me feel more refreshed just don't get it in your eyes because I've done that before and it really stung <gasps> fun story a couple of weeks ago I nearly broke two of my fingers. I was doing a standing back tuck on my air track and I kind of put my hands down and they bent funny and I ended up going to a and &E and my fingers were like really fat. So, you know, that's fun. I had to have them strapped up for a week and they kept hurting after that and they still hurt a bit now, but they're not that bad now because it wasn't, they weren't broken, it was just minor ligament damage, they said. Okay, so next, I'm going to use this cheek roller. You can get this from Amazon. I've bought one for my friend from Amazon and it's the exact same one. I got this for Christmas. I got, I got most of my stuff for Christmas from face stuff. Um, but I got my friend one from Amazon and it was only £7. And I gave it to it for a birthday. So I'm just going to use this bit to go underneath my eye. Wrinkles, wrinkles, go away. Just make my eyes less puffy. I also like doing my jawline because it makes it more snatched. As people say, I don't know. Some people have this one where it's like, I don't know how to explain it, it's like a round thing and they go like that back and with their like cheekbones and stuff. I want to get that one because it's really cool and it's more of the shape that you can actually do it because this one's just I feel like fat and stuff. The last skin thing I do is moisturiser which is the daily clean and clear moisturiser and I'm actually running it out so oh no. I know there's someone in there, I can feel like, ah, there you go. So you don't really need that much because again, it stays really far. It's not like a thick one. It's quite thin and obviously spreads quite far. I use this one every day, which is why it's like nearly gone. Just put it in all the places where you feel like you have dry skin. Or me, I put it everywhere. I don't know about you, but I'm so tired. It's like too early in the morning for this. <laughs> I'm not really doing much today. I think I'm just going to make my day and then I have to do my homework. I have to do ma my maths homework, which is Sparks, and it takes ages to do. And we're doing like trigonometry and I don't understand it, which is great because we've only done one lesson on it and she expects us to just do the homework on it. I'm like, I don't understand. I'm sure other people understand. I'm only in set three. So, 
just put in some lip balm on. I also got this from Home and Bargains. This is a three pack. I like the watermelon one though. The next thing I'm doing is curling my eyelashes. Look how cute this is. It's got little hearts in it. So, oh, I've seen this trend thing where people curl them upside down. So like they turn the curl around so the eyelashes still point upwards and they curl it and then they do it this way and they actually turn out really good. So let me know if you want me to try that in a different video and I will. So the mascara I'm using is actually from Primark. I got these for two, I think this one. This is Aqua Lash. It's really good. It's, I think it was £2.15 and it's only from Primark so it's actually really good. This is the dupe of Sky High Mascara. It's called, oh, it's literally just called Mas Cara. <laughs> Mascara. Um, I think I'm going to use this one just so I can show you guys if it's good or not. It's very like drippy, but it's got the thin brush bit, just like the Sky High one. I, do, I would recommend it if you can't get the sky high one. I mean, look how good that is. It just makes your eyelashes super long. So, I like putting this one on, or my ugly lash one, on, and then I usually brow my jaws. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> brow my jaws. Eyebrow. No. Gel my eyebrows. If you can't tell by now, I'm dyslexic. But I don't know where my brow gel's gone. So, I might just use my normal sponge. Just need to know. Well, we've got the same one. It's actually from Sainsbury's. It's like £2.50, but it's really good. Like, they stay there all day. It's great. <clears throat> so... Next, I'm just going to pick out my outfit and then I'll get back to you. So, this is my outfit. I've got my jeans on. Huh. And my top on. My earrings and my bracelets on. I've also got my watch on as well. I think it's dying. Yeah, well. So, I just need to do my hair. I brushed it through. But I don't really know what to do with it. Should I leave it out? Oh, actually. I think I should put this in it. This is a metal clip and it's got a pearl in it. I thought maybe it would match my pearls. So I'm just going to try clip this in. Mm. Oh, I'm terrible at putting stuff like this in my hair. That's not good. No. That just looks a bit weird. Okay, well, I usually have it in the other side, but I wanted it to go the opposite side because my bracelets are on this side. Um. Does that look fine? Let's see. Yeah. If I brush it not downwards. Is that all good? Oh well, we'll see. I always find it weird because you can see like the gap bit where you like clip it on. So hopefully that looks fine. Stay tuned. Please tell me if you like this video because I'll do more of these if you want me to and let me know any videos that you want me to do and I'll try and get them done. I'm thinking about doing a tutorial on any flips you want me to make a tutorial on on my air track outside hopefully when it's nice and sunny so if you just comment any flips that you want to learn and I'll try and do it and then make a tutorial on it another fun story is i'm training for a 5k run in i think it's november it's in autumn towers and it's for a charity and you just run 5k and it's like a 30 something pound to enter and that goes to charity people come and watch obviously that goes to charity too and I actually found out the other day that you do get free Alton Towers tickets with it and I was like, oh, that's a bonus. Yay! So the next thing I do when I come downstairs and I'm dressed, 
I need to put my socks and shoes on and I need to brush my teeth as well. I haven't forgotten. It's just my brother was in the toilet. So that took a while. And I say hi to my dog. Scrap. Yeah. Ooh. This is my dog. <laughs> Don't know about anyone else, but I wear odd socks all the time, whether it's fluffy socks or normal socks. I always, always wear odd socks. Just even when I go out, like I've literally got odd socks on right now. Don't judge. It's just my thing. I think I'm just going to put these shoes on. These are Puma shoes and they're a bit dirty. Probably should give them a wipe. But yeah, I'm just going to put those on because I've got my odd socks on now. And I'm... I'm so hungry. How is my stomach? I'm so hungry. We should be leaving any minute now because we're meant to be there for nine. So it's like... 53 minutes past or so so we literally have like seven minutes to get there but it's okay because we live like around the corner for a minute so it's fine please stay tuned to see my breakfast it's oh, i get the same thing every week and i'm not gonna tell you because you're gonna find out later so stay tuned <laughs> That's all. Please like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications to see any of my upcoming videos. Hope you had a nice day. Bye.